I usually have my own custom intro play here, but honestly, I cannot compete with this majesty. I know, I know, I know. Your life is now complete. No need to thank me. But anyways, let's get on to the actual video. Greetings Earthlings and welcome again back to the Earth, our mud fossil Gaia. Um, I guess I am taking it a little personal. And I probably will name names though it's probably not necessary. Um, one of our big mud fossilers has gone rogue! I was real excited to see Jerry back and now he's telling all the mud fossilers they have pareidolia. In my interactions with the mud fossil community and all the videos and such I've seen, I'm going to say that's probably the least of their problems. That being said, Good job. Good job. I would like to explain to all these sweet mud fossilers exactly what pareidolia is. So my audience knows, I have provided a link to Pareidolia in the comments down below so you can research a bit more on what it actually is before she enlightens us. And now for something completely different. And what Pareidolia is versus shamanism. And what it really means to see these beings. What in the goddamn? Yep, we're going there. This chick is 100% serious, by the way, as far as I can tell. Pareidolia is nothing more than the ability to see the unseen. This is your brain. This is drugs. Our brains are instinctually programmed to recognize facial patterns to protect us against predators. It also happens to be one of the 11 signs that you were born to be a shaman. Okay, I'll admit it. If that is true, that's pretty cool. Granted, it's not true, it's bullshit, but it's still pretty cool. If you feel a strong connection to nature, and you often see things that others can't see, you may have been called to be a shaman. Let's be honest here. Who doesn't like going out for a walk in the park? Who doesn't like to cloud gaze and see things in the clouds? Does that mean everyone that likes to cloud gaze outside is a shaman? which is actually quite common in this new age era we are all awakening to. Star seeds are being born with many gifts, the ability to see the unseen being one of them. Star seeds are quite a common concept in the mystical conspiracy realm. It's quite impressive how often star seeds seem to be born, yet nothing ever happens because of it. Shamans receive gnosis through nature. If they never look at what they see in the smoke, they would only see the smoke, or the flame, or the cloud, or the rock. Spirit works through the elements, and it's seeing the shapes, faces, and signs that it speaks to us. Alright, I'm confused again. Is this piece of wood a creature, or is this piece of wood just a piece of wood that looks like a creature, but since it looks like a creature, you think it's a creature? I'm completely lost. If you are still seeing faces in the rocks, it could be a sign that spirit is trying to communicate something to you. So let's test this theory. Stare at this piece of wood with me for the rest of the video and tell me when spirit is talking to you. Let me know in the comments when you become a shaman, give me the actual timestamp of the video of the shaman transition, please. Thank you, and have a nice day.